Hey, what's going on guys? BitTensor or Tau is an AI project that is built on a blockchain. I hear it described often as a micro cap coin. However, if you go over to their stats page, the market cap is 286 based on the current supply of 5.19 million. And over here, that would put it at probably, what do we say, 286, rank number 113. So it's not really a market cap, it's one of the if not the biggest AI project, it's one of the most established, if they can even be established. I think it's been around since like March. It does have a max supply and a similar emission schedule to Bitcoin with 21 million that will ever exist. It's a little bit different than Bitcoin with the emissions though. They have something called recycling. So if you wanted to register a node, you would have to give up some Tau tokens, which let's say it's about four Tau tokens you lose those. Like you don't necessarily get those back, but you would be you would be earning some of the current emissions and those four tau get tacked on to the end. Open Tensor is the developer team behind it. They are the driving force behind BitTensor. Open Tensor is committed to developing artificial intelligence technologies, yada yada yada. I asked about this. It was fair launched. Over in the Discord, Juan said when I said, um, was there an ICO or anything? He said it was fair launched. Foundation sold a portion of their Tau at the start to fund operations to VCs, but nothing since. Back to some of the stats here. So you've got a total supply of 21 million. If you stake, you can stake some Tau to delegators. And that APY right now is 24.4%. And I do have actually a calculator so you can see how much you would earn. Like say you bought 20 of these and you staked it, you'd be earning 4.87 tau at its current price would be $259 per year. Gotta be careful with these calculators. They can get you in trouble though, starting to get greedy. So what is it exactly? That's kind of what I wanna focus on mostly because AI and blockchain is pretty complicated. So BitTensor is an open source protocol that powers a scalable decentralized neural network. And that just means there's a bunch of different nodes all feeding data to each other. The system is designed to incentivize the production of AI by training models within a blockchain infrastructure and rewarding performance with a custom digital currency. The network is comprised of several thousand nodes, each containing a machine learning model. All nodes are assigned the task of parsing a massive collection of text data, working collaboratively to extract semantic meaning. By way of a consensus mechanism, the system is designed to reward the most value producing nodes such that the digital token reaches equivalency with the quality and quantity of representational knowledge in the system. I know that sounds like a whole bunch of like, what the hell does that even mean? I was chatting with them over in their discord and Blardo gave me a really good explanation for the way to think about uh, BitTensor. So he thinks it's easier to think of BitTensor as two projects. You've got a machine learning project and a separate crypto project. The machine learning part is not on chain. The Tau incentive, the, the, the coin and the blockchain, that, that is on the blockchain. That's what creates the incentive for people to create public AI models. And this is to counter the closed source versions of AI that are out there. So what you've got are validators and miners, but it's not a proof of work blockchain, even though they call it miners. Miners have very specialized algorithms that they are using. I don't know the exact specifics on that, but what you have then are validators that are asking the miners questions. And then the miners go out and they find the answer to those questions. And if those answers are good or not, right, they get ranked. And then so the miners that do well, the validators say, yeah, this was good. And then the validators are the ones that actually issue the Tau tokens. It goes 50% to the validators for doing the work and 50% to the miners. Although I'm told because the miners have that very specialized equipment or algorithms, it's likely gonna tilt more towards the miners in the future. And that's how these algorithms get trained is the validators might present a data set and then say, hey miner, give me some questions based on this, this data set. And then the validator then goes and asks that the, the same questions that the miners created, and then with the answers that the miners give, the validators say this was good or bad. 
but it's not an actual physical human being sitting there doing the validations. AI, smaller, more niche AI models, to my understanding, do the spot checking for the other AI that is being trained on. I didn't make this up. This is what I'm told. So I know it's confusing. I'm not really sure where this exactly is going to go. In terms of, in terms of sustainability, right now they do not have a fee model set up, although people do have ideas for how that could happen. But supposedly it is a long way out and we will be dead by the time the emissions run out. And with the recycling tax on the Tau to the end, it just keeps getting further and further pushed out. But eventually, you know, the block rewards are going to be so small because regardless, they still have every four years that the uh, the price will have to continue the uptrend. It is built on substrate. They do own a parachain slot, but have decided, at least for now, not to connect to the Polkadot relay chain. Definitely seems like an interesting project, and I look forward to seeing what tools and applications or dApps get built using Tau or BitTensor on the back end. Let me know what you guys think of BitTensor down in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to check out this one here on Okta. I just reviewed this yesterday, found it pretty interesting. But that's it for this one. If you're still here, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video.